In 2012, the Peaky Blinders cast gathered for the very first time to shoot what they thought would be a niche 1920s gangster series about Birmingham's Shelby family. A decade later, the show's bigger than ever, airing its sixth and final season, with the film and potential spin-offs in the works. Today, take a look at what the Peaky Blinders stars had to say about the final season. First up, the stars on filming the final season. Unlike many actors who find their show suddenly cancelled, the stars of Peaky Blinders went into the final season knowing it'd be their last. Sophie Rundle, who plays Ada, told EW that since they all knew it was going to be the last season, there was definitely an air of doing justice to the last 10 years. For her, it felt like it was the right time for the show to end, since the storyline was propelling itself toward the finish line. Still, it was very poignant to finally be finishing it off. Even though Peaky Land will live on past the final season, season 6 was still pretty conclusive, because everyone knew this was the final one. It was done right. According to Rundle, there's a sense of finality to it that everybody was expecting. Brilliance is certainly the bar for the show's creators. From its opening shot, the show established a unique visual language. No one loves a slow mo smoke-filled sequence quite like Peaky Blinders. To add to that, it delivered complex characters, rich storytelling, and some of the best acting on television. Rundle further explains that a lot of people expected the show to be quite niche, and this kind of cult thing, but that was what made it so popular. She stated that the show was almost bold with its originality, and the confidence of its stylistic choices. For Thomas Shelby itself, filming season 6 was all about staying focused. Killian Murphy explained they didn't think about it too much, since they just wanted to make it the best it could possibly be. If the shoot didn't already feel weird because it was ending, there were also the COVID-19 restrictions to deal with, and one very important individual who was missing. Murphy added that the shoot was difficult because of the protocols. He explains further that although it was tricky for everybody, they were lucky to be able to film through it all without any major hurdles. He said, We've always tried to make each season the best one, and I think we succeeded with this. And now, continuing without Helen McRory. In April 2021, Helen McRory, who played the steely Shelby aunt, Polly Gray, passed away from cancer. It was a huge loss for the show, and an even bigger one for the cast. They shared how difficult it was to film without her, and how much she was missed on set. Producer Stephen Knight stated that it was a terrible and tragic loss for them. He went into more detail, reflecting on McRory's contribution to the show, and the decision to continue without her in the final season. He explained how Helen was right at the heart of the show, Polly being one of the three central characters. It was a challenge for them to keep going with the story without her, but ultimately, they knew that she would have wanted them to continue, so that's what they did. The relationship between the Peaky Gang leader, Tommy, and the Shelby family matriarch was one of the most pivotal bonds on the show, so it was only natural that their real-life counterparts, McRory and Murphy, would also share a close bond. Killian Murphy stated that it was a very sad shoot without Helen, since she was his closest pal on set. In an interview last year, he explained that with a series like Peaky Blinders, where you're in it for the long haul, you really need to have a partner on set that you can laugh and joke around with. Helen was that person for Murphy. The two shared a close bond on set. As Murphy added, if I was worried about anything, I'd go and see her. For Finn Cole, who plays Michael, the final season felt gloomy. He stated that wrapping up all those storylines felt very poignant, and with the pandemic in the mix, it was quite emotional, but at the same time, there was an energy created by the late Helen McRory. He explained that while they were on set, there was discipline. Everyone was fully focused and no one was complaining. That's something that he hopes to take with him into his future projects. Sophie Rundle revealed that she considered Helen to have been the heart of the show, and that they were all completely devastated by her loss, since she was an integral part of the cast and the Peaky family. According to Rundle, Helen had made Polly so exceptional and so exciting to watch because she had that rare magic as an actor. Next, why they decided to end at six seasons. Murphy and Knight felt confident about how they ended the series, but the process of saying goodbye wasn't quite like anything they had expected. There was the pandemic at hand, along with the loss of a beloved cast member. Before the final season aired, both Knight and Murphy promised that Polly will be a part of the show's end. But if the story's richer than ever and the fan base is bigger than ever, then why is the show coming to an end? Knight explains that this is the end of the beginning, noting that his timeline for the series included six seasons and a movie. But this isn't the end. According to Now, the film structure will fall into place. They might set in motion some spin-offs, which will be a part of the same universe. Time for some other related news. Peaky Blinders film release date. The news of the film installment was initially announced by Knight in January 2021. As of now, it's still far too early to pinpoint a release date. It's kind of fair with the TV series only just wrapping up season 6, and production on the film scheduled to begin until the beginning of 2023. With that in mind, it seems likely we'll have to wait a couple of years before the film arrives. While that might seem like a long time away, fans can take solace in the fact that it'd be a smaller gap than there was between season 5 and season 6. If we can survive that drought, surely we'll survive this one as well. What to expect from the film? While official plot information is being kept under wraps for now, Stephen Knight has given us a few hints for what to expect. Specifically, he has revealed that the film would be set during World War II, claiming that he always wanted the saga to end with conflict. Speaking exclusively to Radio Times, Knight said that he knows what's going to happen next in the plot, and it's about an untold story that happened in the Second World War, in which the Peaky Gang's going to be involved, who was played by the late Helen McRory, will remain a fundamental part of the movie. More details are not available
available at this stage. But there are several ways in which a movie could potentially go, and it will certainly be interesting to see what direction Knight chooses to take things. Given that Tommy is alive at the end of Season 6 and is not, in fact, terminally ill, as he had been led to believe, the stage is set for an almighty comeback. Tommy spends the vast majority of the finale preparing for death, but the cat with nine lives managed to live to fight yet another day. The movie now surely promises the return of Killian Murphy and his flat cap for another action-packed quest. We can hardly wait! Is Tom Hardy the next James Bond? Tom Hardy has been a strong contender in the ongoing 007 race, but he seems to have hit a major stumbling block recently. Two major Hollywood stars Henry Cavill and reggae John Page stand in his way, and it looks like the Venom star may not be able to overtake them. After nearly 15 years and five films as the tuxedoed spy, Daniel Craig's journey as James Bond has finally come to an end. No Time to Die definitively rounded off his story, leaving the door open for a new actor to take over from him as a suave secret agent. While the official announcement of the next star will likely come by the end of the year, Tom Hardy has been at the forefront of the betting since 2020, but his chances have seemed to dwindle lately. The Inception star has been a favorite with punters and has even spoken out about becoming 007. However, he confessed he won't say much about the role. He jokes that if he talks about it, he's automatically out of the race, so he can't possibly comment on this one. In his words, if I mention it, it's gone. So at this point, the next Bond role is basically up in the air. We'll just have to wait for the news and see who grabs it first. And that's a wrap for this video. What are your thoughts on the final season of Peaky Blinders and the upcoming movie? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one!